Hello, in this video we're gonna check all available gestures and motions on Motorola Moto G Pure. And to do this we'll need to open the settings, scroll down to find the system, inside there's the gestures, and right here we can see them all. Now let's check all of the functions, so first one is put the display on sleep, if you go there, you'll be able to double tap to put the display to sleep when you're in a home screen or lock screen. So let's try it out. We can go back to home screen, double tap. And it doesn't work, I guess. Let's just see it on the lock screen. Maybe here it will work. It doesn't. So what a function. Wait, I'm gonna make sure that it's on, yeah, it's on. I'm not sure why it's not working, but as you can see, it doesn't. Okay, let's move on. Next one is a swipe fingerprint for notifications. And here on the back, you can find the fingerprint sensor on this device. So if you swipe it down like this, you should reveal the notification tab. It works fine. Next one we have the double press power key and with it we can launch the assistant or camera. Let's use the assistant and double press the power key to do that. And as you can see it works fine. Now let's move on to the next which is system navigation. And right here in this video I'm gonna skip it as it's a kind of different uh, thing than gestures and motions. So here is a one-handed mode and if you enable it you'll be able to put the notification bar in the middle of the screen so that you can access it with one hand much easier. Prevent ringing and if you enable it and put your phone... oh okay that's a different thing. So po press power and a volume up key together to make your phone on a vibrate or mute mode. And I'm gonna choose the vibrate or actually let's go for the mute and click on the power key and volume up at the same time. Here you can see that it changed it just to silent mode. Next one here we have the attentive display. Click on it and okay my phone just froze. Attentive display prevent the screen from dimming or going to sleep while you're looking at it. So if you enable it and keep looking on the, I guess the camera, then your phone won't lock and that might be useful. Pick up to silence and right here if you enable it, you can silence the ringer during an incoming call by lifting up your phone. That might be also useful. Flipped for do not disturb mode. Now if you enable it and put your phone upside down, it will enter do not disturb mode. Media controls and if you enable it, you can uh, control the player or YouTube or whatever with the volume up, volume down and a power key. Then there's a three finger screenshot. Enable it and now if you use your three fingers on the screen, you'll be able to take the screenshot. Fast torch, so enable it. And now if we shake our phone like this, it should look like a handshake or karate chop. It should enable the flashlight, but this function is kind of garbage as usual on this phone and it doesn't work. But maybe you can try it, you can make it work, I don't know. Uh, swipe to split, so if you perform swipe like that, you'll be able to split your screen in half, so you can get one up on the bottom and another one on the top. Let's try it out. So it looks like this, and as you can see it works fine. Last is a lift to unlock, and now if you lift up your phone in a grip, it should uh, unlock or wake up your screen. And that's it for this video, hope you like it, please consider subscribing to our channel, leave a like and a comment below.